What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the upcoming power mutation, the new hero event that you can spend bits on. But first, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. Let's go. Okay, so on the official Discord, uh, right at Daily Reset, they automatically post in TMNT Community News two days before the end of the week the power mutation for the following week. So starting on October 18th at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the three characters that will have Dimension Clash power boost of 100%, Super Irma! Super Irma is going to have a boost. Casey Jones! is going to have a boost. And Ray, uh, these are all excellent characters to be getting a boost. Uh, I think they're all very viable characters worth using. Um, so we can go take a look at their kits in just a minute, but I want to let you know also that the new hero event starting on the 19th, so the day after we start doing some PvP Dimension Clash, we have the new hero event, and it is Shredder, Conqueror of the Earth. Shredder is a highly sought-after character, one of the best characters in the game. Definitely think he's amazing with all the things he can do. do. So we're going to take a look at his kit too, just to kind of talk about his merits. Um, so let's go take a look at Super Irma, Casey Jones, Ray, and Shredder. Okay, in our hero box, the first character we'll look at is Shredder for the upcoming hero event. Um, I am lucky to already have him at 5 star. I don't know, I wouldn't consider myself lucky because I did spend the gems that I saved for a long, long, long time to get the guaranteed five-star hero box and my first five-star hero uh, I opened was Shredder. So um, his Shred special, um, he's able to jump to an enemy, strip their defense, disarm them, and take away 40 armor and barrier for five seconds. So he's going to just make this person he targets susceptible to tons of damage. They're going to stop doing their basic attacks. And then he also does... A decent amount of physical damage one of the best hits in the game and all other enemies at range one also lose some defense and get disarmed for a short amount of time so his shred active is really really good um, he really just messes up a whole lot of um, of everybody you know reducing the damage output uh, taking away their defense and doing some some decent damage his claw fury does a bunch of damage over four hits. He inflicts damage over time with this skill and does extra damage over time uh, per strength and per negative armor on the target. So um, he really benefits from having his strength boosted. And then also, of course, he takes away the armor with his, um, with his active skill, um, which makes this do even more damage. His first passive plated armor just gives him extra armor, which is great. So he's less likely to take physical damage and then of course after being attacked by someone at range one he his bladed armor does damage back to the the person's uh the, the heroes attacking him also doing damage over time if uh above 10 armor which he basically always is unless his getting armor is getting stripped so he's doing damage bouncing damage back as well as damage over time so it's really really nice that what his bladed armor does um, helps with the survivability. And then the Foot Clan Usurper at the start of combat inflicts negative armor, barrier, alertness, and will for 30 seconds to all enemies. So it's kind of like Splinter, but the opposite. So this is great. Battles don't really last longer than 30 seconds, especially in Dimension Clash um, or um, Channel 6. Um, so this is an amazing skill. And get them! Target the enemy with the most of your allies within range one inflict negative 100 alertness and negative 30 will for 10 seconds 10 seconds is a long time in these battles and that alertness reduces the defense they get and the will makes it to where they're not going to be using your specials target all allies within range one of that target give them 30 haste and 15 strength for three seconds this target all allies not other allies allies so it includes himself so he also gives himself haste and strength if he's in that zone which most likely he is so the this his kit is just really really well built 
even though he's not a support, he is a trickster. Uh, some of those skills really feel uh, very, very supportive. So um, that's why he's awesome. I expect a lot of people to be going for that first place five star shredder. Not as crazy as what people were doing for Fugitoid, and we're not even going to go down that road. We, we you can see that in the last video. Um, but let's take a look at these mutated heroes. We're going to glance at them real quick. We have Super Irma, which I still have yet to get at four star. So I might not use her, even though she is amazing. Her Magnetize does tons of energy damage, and it also inflicts disarm like Shredder's skill. So they can't use basic attacks um, for three seconds with hers, and it does an extra two seconds uh, to target at or above 10 armor. So anybody who has that um, physical um, protection, that armor, um, she's going to make it to where they can't do basic attacks for even longer. Um, so really, really cool there. Her anti-magnet beam targets all enemies in the line and does tons of energy damage. Inflicts disarm again, so she's constantly taking away their ability to do basic attacks. Inflicts negative 50 strength. Um, to targets above 50 strength, so it's, and the same for focus. So this is neutralizing any strength and focus bonuses, um, making it to where the enemy is not going to be able to do as much damage as they want to. Um, really, really cool. Very tricky. Her repelling force is when she attacks, she does extra damage per other hero at range one of the target. So um, this makes it to where when she works really well with someone who is uh, a brawler um, that's up close to the target. Um, she's going to inflict negative haste on that enemy and gain haste per enemy at range 2 if not silenced or stunned. So she's going to be able to gain that haste, um, being able to get her basic attacks off more often, having this then continue to trigger more and more. Her metal manipulation, which is her other passive, she gains armor per other hero at range 2 and gains extra armor per other hero at or above 10 armor at range 2. So she really works well, even though she's a blaster, she works well with uh, heroes that are um, have strength and armor. Um, I, I would imagine someone like Taka would be really, really good to have with her because he's always going to have high armor. Shredder, of course, is going to have a decent amount of armor that these things are going to trigger. Um, inflicts negative haste and will to all enemies per armor they have. Um, which is really really cool even though um, and because she's a blaster armor doesn't help them protect against her blaster damage um, so she she just becomes more effective in, in that in that sense and her anti polarity field she targets all enemies at range three inflicts which is basically everybody inflicts negative 40 strength and negative 60 focus for seven seconds gaining 10 focus per hero at range three for seven seconds and then she also gains defense per hero at range 3 at level 250, which if you can get her to 4 stars and get her to 250, that is huge for her survivability. And this skill is just absolutely nasty, um, really mitigating the damage that the, the enemies put out. So really liking uh, potential of using Super Hurt Irma, even though I only have her at 3 stars. Um, I still might use her in Dimension Clash next week, um, but she's definitely awesome. The uh, next one that's being mutated is Casey Jones. Casey Jones' hole in two is a big hit. He can dash really, really far and select enemy at range five. Now he does also gain armor, so he's going to be very well, be used very well with uh, Irma. He's going to help her trigger her, her um, passives. And then does the extra damage to targets under 10 armor. And uh, Ir Irma also reduces armor, so I think the two of them are going to work really, really well together. Inflicting slow is just an added bonus. It's going to strip defense, take uh, reduce focus, so this will also be nice for having Irma against you using Casey. Um, she's not going to be able to do as much damage, hopefully, with that, but uh, negative 20 focus isn't a lot. It's not as much as 40 or 60 or some of the other numbers we've been seeing, um, but he does do some de decent damage taking away the, uh, the defense. And then after attacking an enemy, if Will is at or above zero, Gains three strength for 60 seconds. So 60 seconds is basically the whole battle. The, thing, the matches really never last that long. So he's constantly stacking strength if his will is at or above zero. Now, Shredder takes away the will, but other characters give will. Um, like at the beginning of a battle, like Splinter um, would be a really, really good uh, person to use with Casey to make sure that Casey's strength is scaling 
right from the get-go. He gains 20 armor and haste per enemy at range 1. So the more in the mess he gets and more guys that are around him, um, the more resistant he is to physical damage and the faster he attacks. The one problem with this higher armor, that's going to help the enemy Irma trigger. So I'm not really sure where the balance is with that. We'll have to see how that goes. And then uh, gains 50 strength and receives negative 70 awareness for 5 seconds. Target all enemies at range 1 inflict negative defense. Now I don't like that he gives... He receives negative alertness. So when Gungala triggers, he can't really gain defense. This is where he strips the enemy's defense and kind of goes all out um, to hopefully boost the, the power of his other hits. Target all enemies at range 1. Inflict negative 50 focus for 3 seconds if you get him to 250, which um, would definitely be very, very useful um, against Super Irma or any other blaster um, type of character. So Casey Jones, he's okay. Then there's other damagers that are that are better in general, like of course Shredder. Um, you know, he's kind of on par with say Mondo Gecko, um, where I think Zorax is still a little bit better than Shred uh, Casey. But with the mutation, uh, Casey's going to be very very useful um, this coming week. And then the last one is Ray, who I also don't have at four stars, so I don't know if I'm going to use Ray or Irma just because of the situation, and I'm not a huge fan of Casey um, compared to other heroes, so I may not even use Casey, we'll see. Um, but Ray's really cool. He's uh, kind of an undersung, uh, uh, unsung hero. He's uh, is a tank support and does some really, really good stuff. Gains defense with his special, gains armor for two seconds if he's under 50 armor to make sure that he's, he's not falling below, um, but he doesn't boost his armor. But it does the same for strength, haste, and will, so he's, he, kind of resistant to being um, ha having his statuses reduced, which is really, really nice. Um, and then he, can sl in, if he selects a tile, moves there, so he clears, he gains the defense and clears these kind of debuffs first. Then he goes into his attack mode where he moves in and does some damage and slow. Uh, and also the negative 150 haste for two seconds to everyone around his target um, zone. So the negative 150 ha haste I think is probably one of the best parts about this. Um, as you level him up and you put equipment on him and with the bonus, this AoE damage is going to be pretty significant. It's not the best AoE damage in the game, but I think it, it, it does a nice job. Um, his Stinger Swipe auto skill is going to do some physical damage to someone who's next to him. He's going to do extra damage if he's above zero defense. He's going to inflict negative 50 haste and alertness for 8 seconds. He's going to inflict negative 50 extra haste and alertness if above zero defense. So his defense should be boosted, but so far we don't see... Um, uh, I mean, he should have defense. As long as he has defense, um, this is going to trigger. And removing 100 haste and 100 alertness is going to reduce so much from the, uh, from the enemy's output. So, of course, if we have Irma and Shredder disarming the haste doesn't matter because that's like haste of zero like automatic haste zero disarm like they're not basic attacking at all so that could be nullified maybe not as as great as we may think i forgot to mute discord um his wave barrier he gains 100 barrier and 40 alertness and strength if above zero defense now this is really really great especially going up against an opposing irma because uh barrier is less common than armor and so this is going to give him some extra survivability because that's where he kind of he's going to shine with, with that um, there. And then ride it out. He gives resistance to stun and root to allies within range two. Now we haven't looked at really anyone today that has stun or root in their kits, but there are plenty of characters that are used often that do these things like April and Metalhead. Um, so being able to resist that, um, huge. Uh, it's only 25%, but it's still it's still nice if one out of four times you don't get stunned um, or rooted. And then if, if you take him to 225 after being stunned or rooted, gives defense and barrier for five seconds to all allies within range two. So it gives a defense boost to everyone and that barrier. So that's going to be really, really nice. You can take him to 225, especially going up against blasters like Irma. And finally, Hang Loose gains defense and will for six seconds. Going to target the lowest health ally at range three, which is just about anybody. Um, should be most your allies should be within range three. Uh, gives defense and 20 will for six seconds. Now, giving will is really, really huge. 
Um, Will helps us get all our auto skills and our special off more often, so he's going to be very, very nice to be able to help Irma do her big blast or um, Shredder get his shred off. Right, It's, it's going to be the lowest health ally, so that kind of matters too, right? You may not, you can't target it. It's going to be whoever's closest to death. And then at 250, he's going to give armor and barrier for six seconds to targets that are stunned or rooted with this skill. Um, and I think that is saying it says two targets. I don't know if that means within range three, all targets, or if it's just the lowest health ally. Um, because I don't have it unlocked, it's it's not quite clear. Um, but he's still he's still a great tank. So that's it, guys. I said we were going to show you my um, Dimension Clash, but uh, this video has already gone on way too long. Um, so what do you guys think about the mutation heroes? What do you think about the hero for the for the uh, event? Uh, I use Shredder all the time, so I think that's a great um, kind of like sorry we messed up on Fugitoid. Here's probably the best character in the game to uh, try and make up for it with the next event. Hopefully they do give us another Fugitoid event. Like always guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, Ninja kick that like button uh, for more TMNT Madness content. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next video.